Okay. All right. We're on the air. Okay. I can. I might. Can I see way over there without my glasses? Oh my gosh. How you doing, everybody? Hey, it's Bruce here. Hey, hey, it's Bruce here. How you guys doing today? Uh, hang on a second. Got to reduce my volume. How's it going out there? Traveling with Bruce here. <laughs> I, I'm so far from the TV. I wanted to show off my new shirt. You know, you see my logo. You can see the logo here. You can see traveling with Bruce. But I had to put the camera away at the other end of the room. I, I can't even reach you anymore. Unbelievable. That's my executive communicator right there. I love that thing. Oh my goodness, I'm moving in. I'm bring, I'm bringing it in, baby. I'm bringing it in. Uh, don't mind me, uh, warts and all. I'm coming in. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the channel, Traveling with Bruce, your jovial host here today. Uh, I hope you're having a good day today. Uh, it is uh, Wednesday, the middle of the week, uh, August the 29th, 2018. And uh, we are live on YouTube. Uh, loving life, baby. Uh, having fun, fun, fun. Till daddy takes the T-bird away. You know, that's just the way it is. Uh, how's, how you been? Um, folks are watching me from all over the place. Uh, I've, had a, I've had a couple of good days on my channel. I, 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 I got to tell you, folks, uh, I'm a bit, uh, almost a bit humbled by it all. It's fantastic. Uh, I, I did a story yesterday about the Carnival Horizon cruise ship. Uh, we, we, if you haven't heard by now, the Carnival Horizon cruise ship, uh, brand new ship, three and a half months old, built in Italy uh, for Carnival, and uh, it's Carnival's, you know, newest, greatest, latest, uh, largest vessel. Beautiful ship, a lot of positive reviews from people, but it's had a bit of a, uh, it's got a bit of a curse, you know. It's got like, uh, it's got some. Uh, it's got some, it has some bad luck, I guess the way to say it. It's had a little bit of bad luck. We had uh, we had engine problems uh, about, uh, what, two weeks ago uh, when it was on its uh, one of its Caribbean cruises out of New York. The uh, the ship uh, was trying to go to Amber Cove and one of its Azopods uh, malfunctioned. Uh, they got that rectified within like 24, 48 hours. Everything was back to normal. Then they, they had a crew member who passed away on board the ship in his 30s from India. Tragic. Uh Really, really shocking. Uh, someone so young passed away, uh, and then uh, uh, what was it yesterday morning? First thing yesterday morning, uh, <laughs> the ship was trying to uh, try to come into New York. Uh, it's coming into Pier ninety uh, to to the pier to dock because it's the end of the eight day cruise. Getting ready for another cruise, you got to get four thousand people off the ship to get four thousand more on the ship. Uh, the ship is coming in at like uh, five thirty in the morning, and uh, whoops, they kind of misjudged the uh, like the piers here, and the ship is coming from here, like your your land. The ship is coming. It's supposed to do this, you know, or, or I guess it's supposed to do this, okay? But it did this. It it hit the front, the end of the pier here, towards the out the very. Out, out. It hit it here with its schnoz, with its nose, or in the hull, and knocked a couple of steel beams off. It just it, it came in like I think a bulldozer comes in. It sort of just. Just comes in and you can't stop it. <laughs> ship, once the ship is moving uh, and you've only got so many feet of space left and you put the thrusters on full speed, you're not going to be able to stop the forward momentum until it's too late. And sure enough, I guess it was five or ten feet too late. Uh, that ship just pushed right in there and just busted up a whole bunch of the pier on the end there. And then they backed it up and check the note the hull and it's got some scratches on it but uh, it needs a new paint job up there and then they they then brought her in properly and then they docked it but the trick of course is the uh, the hudson river here uh this is the, the the waterway going around manhattan on one on what's the west side of manhattan uh that's a tricky uh, piece of water to work with uh ocean liners from 50 60 70 years ago they knew uh when you get in there you got the tugboats to come and get you you brought your ship within a half a mile of that pier and the tugboats came out and you had one pulling with one pushing and you had one on each side steering you and you kind of brought her in and it's they 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 brought you to the pier uh where uh, nowadays with these new azipods the cruise ships supposedly can park themselves they can turn on a dime uh, in the middle of the water uh but uh, with the current of the uh, of the hudson heading south like this heading south or the high tide coming in and the current going the other way for a while because it's an estuary. I've told it's now, I now am told it's an estuary. Uh, the water will shift depending on tide, high tide, low tide, you name it. Uh, then you've got the funny currents underneath because it isn't like just a flat, you know, piece of geography underneath that waterway. There's all kinds of ripples and whatever. 
it's a tricky business putting one of these babies in there and uh, you got to have some serious skills and uh, you got to know the you got to know the lay of the land and we're talking 5:30 in the morning it's dark you're trying to bring a cruise ship in in the dark you got lights oh i i know you got lights but it's not like daylight and so you can't really see the water uh moving about you you're you're just coming right at this pier it it seems calm but that didn't save it anyway so the old the old the brand new horizon Put her nose right into the, into the pier at Pier 90 yesterday morning. I made a video of that. I saw that story yesterday morning. Uh, I was up bright and early, as I usually am. And uh, I thought, I better make a video about this. So I put a video together as quick as I could. Got it out there. And, um, well, i got to say, uh, it's being picked up all over the place. Uh, the, the video's had over 4,000 views in 24 hours. Fantastic. Uh, and it's 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 obviously uh, giving some momentum to the channel. And uh, obviously, yesterday's show we we talked about that issue. That's helping. So yesterday's show is getting way more views than normally the, a show would get. And uh, I figured, well, I'll just keep it going. And uh, I mentioned it. anyway, the ship did leave yesterday afternoon on time uh, because it is in effect undamaged. The cruise ship is fine. It's got a scuff mark or two on the front hull. They'll repaint that eventually. Don't worry about that. They might even be doing that, uh, you know, at their next port stop. They might uh, figure out at Grand Turk or uh, or somewhere along the line. They'll figure out we'll do it there and when all the passengers get off the ship. We'll, we'll paint the front end. We'll be fine. But uh, nothing too serious with the ship to worry about there. The pier, on the other hand, <laughs> needs repair. Uh, you can bet that the Port Authority people have already got contractors in there. To, they've already assessed the damage. It was minor. It looks worse than it is. They'll clean that up and they'll repair that pier. Uh, those piers are designed to kind of be bumped into a little bit. Um, in effect, uh, just because the ship pierced the, the this end of the pier, it didn't damage the rest of the pier. And so the pier is sort of, you know, it's on pilings all the way along. And so it's sort of a how do you call it? compartmentalized kind of a unit and so if one piece gets damaged you can repair it and the, this is okay the back here is okay just fix the middle and we're good to go so i'm sure in the next uh, few weeks the pier will look completely normal as if nothing happened and uh, the only evidence of damage is uh, video evidence and pictures and there you go so i think all is well i'm sure pier 90 is open and running today in normal operation uh, any other cruise liner coming in there they can use Pier 90. I'm sure it's up and running. Uh, nothing stopped that ship. Uh, yesterday, the Horizon left about half an hour late. Nothing too serious. Uh, pulled out of New York last night and uh, is having a having another cruise uh, down the Caribbean. People, I'm sure, are having a wonderful time. And in the back of the ship, if you're standing on the back of that ship. This is kind of your view. If you're anywhere near a, uh, a railing and you can look out over the back of the ship, I love this design. I just love this view. When I'm on a cruise ship, this is one of my favorite places to be on a cruise ship. I just love standing here and watching the wake uh, go behind me. Just love it. Uh, it is therapeutic. Uh, it just relaxes me. I find it absolutely wonderful. So there you go. Welcome one. Welcome all to this channel. Traveling with Bruce. I'm Bruce from Creston, British Columbia, where today we're about 73 degrees. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Uh, sunny, uh, clear, fairly clear skies. Uh, we have got some smoke in the air, but very little. Hopefully, it's not going to rebuild on us, but uh, don't know. There is rain north of us, thankfully. We're crossing our fingers. Hope, I hope a lot of rain will fall to the north of us where it is needed badly. Um, but uh, so far, so good. We'll take it. <clears throat> I'm about three miles north of the Idaho border. I can see America down here. I couldn't see America last week. Couldn't see a mile, not even a mile, but I can see America. America looks good from here. And uh, I'm glad for that. Um, thank you for uh, thank you and hello to all my American viewers, my Canadian viewers, my viewers in Australia, England, uh, Argentina, New Zealand, uh, Japan, uh, from everywhere, Cayman Islands. Uh, I noticed that uh, in the evenings uh, after I'm off the air, uh, I'll go on my analytics and take a look at where people are watching me from. 120 countries. 120 countries around the world, people are watching a video of me of uh, talking whether i'm talking on a, on a live stream like this watching it on a recording or uh, they're watching a video i made uh, in the last uh, year it's just humbling and it's uh, thrilling exciting and i welcome each and every one of you and i thank all of you for your support and watching this channel i think it's fabulous 
2,610 uh, subscribers. I've got to write that number down because I always keep a daily track. We added, I think, 10 subscribers since yesterday's show. Uh, thank you, new subscribers. Thank you, existing subscribers. Uh, welcome one and all to the show. Uh, if you're new to this channel, we love talking about cruise ships, cruise ship vacations, news, developments, you name it. If you're uh, brand new, you've never been on a cruise before, this channel's for you. We love talking about uh, going on a cruise, being on a cruise, uh, different islands, ports of call, news, developments, ships that are coming, all kinds of stuff. If you're a, an addicted cruiser, like, like me, you love to go cruising and you can't wait to go on your next cruise, you've come to the right channel because there's a gang of us here who will help you, uh, you know, through the rough spots, guide you, guide you along to, until you can get to your next cruise. So there's a lot of us here who want to be on a cruise ship, but are in between cruises, we hang out here in between cruises and compare notes. And I welcome all of you to the show. Uh, thank you for supporting my channel with purchases of this kind of product, my uh, Redbubble store that uh, is a, has a link up here on my homepage. Or down below, there's a link. Uh, people are picking up shirts, coffee mugs. Uh, uh, they're picking up uh, travel mugs. They're picking up hoodies, TWB logo, stuff like that. Uh, the TWB family is growing. I love to sip on my caffeine-free Diet Coke in case you're wondering what this is. No rum in here. Um, some of my viewers enjoy a rum and Coke while they're watching my show. Others enjoy rum uh, punch uh, and other uh, libations. It's all good. Uh, I hope you're uh, relaxing and enjoying it and enjoying my channel, enjoying my uh, my chats. Um, oh, was I going to tell you? Oh, oh yeah, uh, contributions coming in front of my channel all the time. Thank you, uh, all of you who make contributions to my donation button, which is also up here, my PayPal uh, thing. Uh, thank you. Any donation that comes in through there, um, upwards of ninety-four to ninety-six percent of the proceeds that gets pledged comes right to my comes right to my uh, account at PayPal. Uh, instant access. Thank you all for that. Those of you who are making contributions on my show while I'm live on, on Super Chat, thank you as well. Uh, but I only get 70% of that, just so you know. So I, I get more if you send it through PayPal rather than on Super Chat. But I'll take Super Chat. I don't mind it. Thank you all for that. And a bunch of you guys have been sending me emails saying, Bruce, I'm going on Amazon. I'm picking up something on Amazon. I want to make sure you get a commission on it. I'm going through your link, your affiliate link, which is listed right below here on my description, just below the uh, picture here. You see me? Uh, people are going to that uh, link, clicking on it. They're in the home page of Amazon. And if you buy anything in 24 hours, once you've clicked in there, I get a commission on anything you buy on Amazon. So thank you for supporting my channel by doing that. I love it. Uh, Jen, my, uh, my, my, my wife, Jennifer, uh, it's not a real name, but she looks exactly exactly like Jennifer Aniston, the actress. Um, you've never seen her because, you know, she's too embarrassed to show up, you know, the real Jennifer Aniston. I mean, you know, we have respect here. You know, we have standards. So anyway, Jennifer, uh, she too is thanking all of you for supporting me and tolerating me and my antics and my uh, and my loudspeaker. Thank you very much. I uh, love it. And uh, <laughs> we're having a good time. Let's say hi to who's here and let's cover some topics. I have news today about uh, Holland America. I've got news today about Royal Caribbean. I have news today about Carnival and Port Canaveral. I got I got stuff. Stuff. I'm following all kinds of developments. There's stuff going on everywhere. And I'm curious to know anything you guys want to talk about. Let's have a chat. Uh, fire away. Any questions you have about cruising, we'll cover it right now. Tom Henry, hi, uh, hi you early bird. <laughs> Cool Jazz saying hello, Tom. Cool Jazz uh, from New York. Hello, Bruce. Very hot, humid day in the Big Apple today. 95. Oh, man, that's hot in the Big Apple. With the humidity, that is unbearable. Man, I, I don't know if I could even handle coming out of my office building, running on the corner, grabbing a hot dog, and going back upstairs. That, that's got to be got to loosen the tie if I were doing that, if I were working on Wall Street. Man, oh, man. Hope the air conditioning is working for everybody over there. Welcome, Cool Jazz. Nice to have you back. Uh, Nurse Nancy's here. Hi, Nurse Nancy. Hello. Well, the tornadoes didn't sweep us away. <laughs> and it's a nice sunny day here in southern Wisconsin. Yay, we didn't get taken away by the hurricanes. Oh, man, that's unbelievable, Nurse Nancy. Uh, way to go. Uh, keep that basement. Keep those stairs wide open for that to run to the basement. If you have to get there, you have to get there. Peter Heckema, hi, Bruce, and all. Big thunder and lightning storm here in Tarpon Springs, Florida right now. Uh, as I told you, T Tampa Bay is the lightning capital of the world. And uh, when we get lightning, it is spectacular. And that's why they call the local the local NHL hockey team the Tampa Bay Lightning. How about that? Makes sense. What 
What can I say? Oh, Robert Grant is here. Robert is saying hi, Bruce and everyone. 87 today in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. And the Disney Fantasy is in port in St. Thomas right now with 2,500 people on board. And hopefully they're spending lots of money in your town. That's good stuff, Robert. Fabulous. Tom Henry, hi, uh, cool jazz. Nurse Nancy at Peter Heckham of the Lightning can we really need to watch. We had some great light shows last night. Yeah, I, I prefer just to go away. Uh, we we don't need lightning here in Western Canada. It's, it's starting forest fires. 450 have been started in the last month from lightning alone. We have 550 forest fires in British Columbia right now that we're dealing with. Unbelievable. So dry. We need rain. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I went and Nurse Nancy saying hello to everybody. Uh, she's saying, trying to decide what to do in St. Kitts, the scenic railway or a catamaran ride. What do you all think? What should she do in St. Kitts? That's that's a good choice. One one the other. Tom Henry, I did a tour that that I did a tour that was both. Hmm, how about that? Uh, did you like it, Tom? Was the train too loud and screechy? <laughs> He's saying it was great, and had the best pina coladas. Uh, coladas, pina coladas, complimentary. That might kind of tilt things in the train's favor. Uh, well, interesting. Very very good. Uh, Robert Brandt, Nurse Nancy, do the catamaran. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Uh, one one person has an opinion, and another one has another. That's the beauty of this deal. Uh, Tom Henry, one hundred today in Richmond, BC. Uh, Richmond, uh, not BC. Richmond, Virginia. There's a Richmond, British Columbia, and there's a Richmond, Virginia. He's in Virginia. Uh, welcome, Tom. Uh, Nurse Nancy, did you ever uh, did you ever do that train in St. Kitts, Robert? Uh, she's kind of curious. Uh, Peter Heckham is saying it. Nurse Nancy, we took the catamaran sailing, and it was great. We we also had great weather though. That's great, Robert. Yes, done both. Nurse Nancy, both are fun. Uh, they're both fun, but but you but if you have to pick one uh, or the other, I'd say the catamaran. There you go. That's his personal opinion, right there, uh, Robert. If you can do the uh, the tour, Tom. If you can do the tour that Tom did for both, then do both. If you can do it, do them both. Go ahead. Right on. Uh, crazy rich guy travels. We vote for the water at Nurse Nancy. The twins are here. The twins are here. Robert Brandt has twins, uh, sixteen year old boys. They're here. Uh, Nurse Nancy, uh, thanks. Got to try to figure it out in the next five months. It looks like a really neat island. Someday we might visit your island, Robert, but not for the next few years. Robert Brandt uh, uh, saying, where are you guys? Nurse Nancy said, hi, twins. Thanks for your advice, everyone. Robert Brandt, well, anyone who comes to St. Thomas, I'd love to meet and have a drink with you guys. Come on down, and I'll love to meet you. Uh, Robert, uh, Paul Wilgus is here. Hello, everybody. It's 84. feels like 92 in Virginia. Crazy rich guys uh, at the tavern with mom. <laughs> <laughs> Twins are at the tavern with mom. Uh, that's where they are. Uh, okay, crazy rich guy travels. Okay, dad says. Uh, Nurse Nancy. Uh, hi, Paul Wilgus. Uh, Paul Wilgus, hello, Nurse Nancy. Uh, Robert saying, hey, Paul. Uh, Peter Heckema uh, at Robert Brandt. We will be there in St. Thomas in November on the Symphony of the Seas. Uh, Paul Wilson, hello, everybody. Hey, Paul. MG Toe, there is a new video on YouTube about a carnival airship. Uh, carnival choose fun. Yeah, carnival has launched a, uh, a blimp. Uh, for advertising purposes, uh, they're trying to, you know, promote the line that's part of the business. And they, they've got it painted up with a, like a giant cruise ship kind of thing. It's only 132 feet long. I mean, a cruise ship is a thousand feet long. This is like puny. If you ever put the, 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 the you know, the dirigible, the, the, the blimp near a cruise ship, it would be dwarfed by the side of the, by the size of the ship. But they're going to put, they're going to float this thing up over certain sporting events. And I'm sure, uh, uh, various uh, events like NASCAR, maybe, or whatever, um, just to promote the company. Uh, there you go, Paul Wilgus. Hey, Robert. Nurse Nancy, that would be fun someday, Robert, to meet you. Uh, cool Jazz, uh, hello, uh, uh, Nurse Nancy. Hey, uh, hey, everybody. Nurse Nancy is saying hi. No, Robert, um, uh, Peter, uh, what is this? Um, remind me when you get closer, and I'll meet you at the pier if you like. Fantastic. Uh, MG Toe saying hi. Peter, Robert, I would love to meet you and have a drink. Uh, Wendy. Uh, hi, everyone. Port uh, C is voting today about a carnival ship and neutral. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Port Canaveral. That's in my story today. Port Canaveral commissioners voted unanimously to approve the new carnival deal. I'll get into that in a minute. And uh, we'll talk about the new terminal. Uh, Robert Brandt at Crazy Rich Guys. Are you both staying there or coming to the house for dinner? It is a great place to communicate to the family while you know while you're watching my show. Uh, uh, Robert Brand is saying to Peter, consider it done. We're having a drink when you come down there. Wendy Thompson, hi Peter. Uh, Robert uh, Twins, MG Nancy Jasper. Um, uh, we're, we're eating here. They said Dad, Dad, we're eating here. We're with Mom. We're eating here. <laughs> okay, Dad says. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All right. Everyone's saying hello to everybody else. Nurse Nancy, hi there. Wendy Thompson, what's going on with the new terminal where I'll get to that. Na uh, Tracy, hello, Bruce, and all. Rainy thunder, lightning here in Naples this afternoon. Already lost power once. Lightning was really bad. Crazy rich guys. Hi, Paul Wilgus. Peter Heckema, uh, Robert Brandt, uh, we will be in St. Thomas November 28th. Really looking forward to it. Uh, and uh, Ed Tolson Jr. is here from the Big Apple. Uh, hello, Bruce and all. Hey, Ed, how you doing, buddy? It's hot in the Big Apple, I hear. Wendy Thompson, Port Canaveral for the new Carnival ship. It will need a new terminal for sure. Uh, Nurse Nancy Bruce, you cracked me up. Where in the world did you get that thing? <laughs> this, this. I've had this since 1984. I used to be the branch manager and vice president of a stock brokerage firm in Calgary. I had 40 employees. It's the 80s, uh, so we didn't have the email and all that. So when it was time for a meeting, uh, we got a staff meeting at five minutes, and uh, hey, this is very effective. I, one of my employees, uh, I think my wife gave me this for my birthday. I think she gave this to me for my, would have been my 28th or 29th birthday. I was a branch manager and a VP in my late 20s, and it's the executive tool, the executive intercom. It says right here, a management communication tool. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, I don't know if she can see that. A management communication tool. Very effective. It works like a million dang dollars. Uh, you know, this thing is getting to be uh, 35, almost 40 years old. Work still works like the day it was new. Beautiful. Love this thing. Never give up one of those. Oh, I love it. Uh, Robert Brett made a note of it. Uh, Peter, uh, Tracy Dunlop, that's a nice shirt, Bruce. Uh, thank you, Tracy. Elaine is here. Uh, how you doing, Elaine? Hi there. Uh, Peter Heckema, thanks, Robert. Kirk Brunson. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Kirk. How's it going? Tony K and Daisy too. Hi, Bruce. I am in dire need of a cruise. Tony K, talk to me. Uh, I'm the same way. How long has it been since you've been on a cruise? We got to go to group cruise. Tom Henry, hi, Wendy. Just got home. Uh, Tony K, what cruises have you got coming up? Oh, I'm thinking about all kinds of them, but I haven't nailed anything down yet. As soon as I know it, as soon as I've got it figured out, you'll be the first to know. Uh, Deanna is here. Hi, all. 100 here in New York. That bad luck started with me on the horizon. <laughs> Can I say, Deanna, I believe she was on that cruise ship uh, when the uh, the engine issue happened. She was on that ship. Oh, my God. Um, Paul Wilgus, hey there, uh, Tom Henry. Uh, Tom Henry, hi, Paul. Uh, Silo Steve is here from Seattle. Hey, Bruce and all. Seattle is still smoky, but not as bad. Silo, uh, welcome back to the show. Yeah, here it's cleared up a lot. Uh, it's very clear. I can see the mountains around me all of a sudden. Finally, uh, I sure hope it gets better for you. Uh, I, I think it will, but uh, boy, it's been a long slog, hasn't it, with the smoke? Crazy Rich guys uh, saying hi, Tom Henry. Jim Thomas, hello all. Looks like 93 for the high here in Anderson, California today. Hey, Jimbo, how you doing, everybody? Welcome back. Rob Souders here. Greetings and salutations from Batavia, New York today. Welcome, uh, Rob um, and Jim. Glad you guys are both here. Wendy Thompson, the port has to vote to approve the new ship and building for the new terminal, they did. It's been approved. Tracy, it's louder than fireworks, isn't it? And Peter Heckman, the thunder and the lightning. My goodness. Down in uh, Naples, Florida, and in Tampa Bay, uh, especially Tampa Bay today. Tom Henry, New York needs a new harbor pilot. <laughs> yes, so, Wendy Thompson, we had rain and thunder here, uh, Wendy is saying. And Wendy's in the Ocala, Florida area. Tony Kay and Daisy do. Port captain must have just gotten back from his vacation. Had similar happen uh, had a similar thing happen in the Mexico cruise. Port captain had gotten back, and the ship really tipped to the point of people <laughs> rolling along. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not good. Uh, you don't want to be doing that. Robert Brandt, bad weather, Tracy Mullen. Silo, oops, take two, uh, 74 for the high, 56 for the low in Seattle. A bit of smoke under the hump for 60 days, uh, 59 days until the bliss. He's on the haven on the bliss. He's going he's gonna to run into Adrian in the bliss and the concierge in the haven club. That's going to be fun. Uh, he's going to the Mexican Riviera during the Halloween uh, uh, cruise to boot. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. He's going to be in the haven, and he's going to tell us all about Adrian, the, uh, well, the uh, the uh, the haven concierge Nancy. That's, we're going to find out about this guy. Uh, Tony K and Daisy, too, rolling out, the, uh, rolling out of the bunks and dishes flying in the dining room. Nobody hurt, but Captain was not happy. I guess uh, uh, once you once the harbor pilot takes over in command, he starts giving off commands, the ship starts to tilt. You don't make captains happy doing that. No, I can imagine the captain of the Horizon yesterday was not in a good mood. Uh, yeah, in New York. Paul Wilgo, Silo Steve sounds like so much fun. Tom Henry, woo-hoo-hoo, Silo Steve. Less than 60 days to go. Tracy Dunlap at Robert Brand. Okay, this morning, but started this terrible storm around two, and it's still going on. Dogs ate it. 
I can imagine dogs don't like it. Uh, Peter Heckema, Tracy uh, at Tracy Dunlop, the lightning is really putting on quite a show right now. And the thunder, it's like we have a cannon in the backyard. Yikes. So I know people who are just as hate lightning and thunder. They hate it. They're terrified of it. They would not like it down there. Robert Brandt, okay, our dogs hate any sudden loud noises too. He says, Tom Henry, New York just needs a big fence. <laughs> New York just needs a big fence with that TWB wake to cover up the damage. Just, just take one of these here, make that into a giant screen of some kind. Just put that over the damage and no one will know the difference. <laughs> and it's free promotion for traveling with Bruce. There you go. Just get this in a triple X or, a, you know, 16 X or something. And just Put it over there. That's a great idea. I, I, I like that idea there. That's a good one, Tom. Uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, Peter Heckema. Um, when I lived in Florida, I loved those kinds of storms. Here in Virginia, we hardly ever get Silo Steve, we are taking a tip from Cruising with Wheels and leaving our Halloween costume behind for the crew uh, Halloween party. Apparently, uh, Kevin and Frank's costumes were much appreciated. There you go. Right on. Good idea after the, after the cruise is over. Uh, Deanna is saying the Caribbean princess 10 years ago. We stopped in Rhode Island and we got uh, ready to leave. The anchor was in the water, and when uh, and when we what tried to live, they couldn't pull the anchor up. Oh, oh man, it got stuck down there. It was stuck on some wires, uh, and they had to get some divers to come in and help to get the anchor up. Wow, get get the thing untangled or something. You never know. You know, if you if it's not clear water, if it's murky. You don't know what's down there, and it's definitely not you know crystal clear turquoise water in New Rhode Island or in uh, or in uh, New York uh, at all. No way. Uh, isn't that something? Uh, Peter Heckema uh, at Paul Wilgus. Uh, you are lucky. Uh, these storms can do a lot of damage. Luckily, we have a whole house generator. We have the whole house generator if the power goes off. So if power goes off, we got power for the whole house. Very good backup. Uh, don't need that up here, but isn't that interesting? Crazy rich travel uh, guys. Uh, crazy rich. Crazy rich guy travels. Robert, we finished Tavern's uh, We finished Tavern's new website. We, we finished a new website for those guys. I think these two young kids of yours are going to make a fortune. <laughs> if, they're, if they're into website building and uh, social media work, uh, these guys will never be unemployed. Uh, they're going to be busy and busy and busy uh, forever. Uh, this is good stuff, Robert. Uh, Paul Wugas is, is laughing out loud with Deanna on that. So anchor story. T uh, Tracy Dunlop, uh, yep, here too. Uh, Peter Heckema in Naples, that one, uh, that, that is one dog hiding in the bedroom laughing out loud that's how bad it is dogs don't like the thunder and lightning deanna that's why i say it's it's me every cruise i go home there there's an issue that's why i say it's me every cruise i go home there's an issue laugh out loud mm. uh what can i say deanna I, I you know what are you gonna do bad luck is bad luck it's just the way it goes sometimes it follows you for a while paul Wilga said peter heckman i had some uh, i had the same when i lived down there i had the same thing down there too robert brett i saw i saw juno looks good uh, he likes to look at the website. Peter, Peter Heckema, Tracy Dunlop, dogs do not like loud noises. Robert Brandt, uh, who drinks during your show? Uh, he's pointing at himself. Uh, who, who are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, Robert Brandt. Uh, Silo Steve just made a brev. Just made a brev. A bev. I think Silo Steve just made a bev. I call that a beverage. IMG told Robert Brandt turned everyone into uh, a, <laughs> a rummy. <laughs> Robert Brandt single-handedly is turning everyone into a rummy. Oh, okay, Tom Henry, uh, Robert, any plans to to post videos on your channel? Uh, Peter Heckema, Rum Runners, Paul. Tom Henry, uh, Chocolate Frosty is the drink today. Oh, yeah. Uh, Robert Brandt at Tom Henry. The twins are working on all of that. Somehow I took over 2,000 photos and hours of video, and I'm not allowed to post anything that might be without their approval. Uh, in case you don't know, folks, Robert Brandt last week, he just got off a Viking river cruise ship uh in uh, in germany and austria he was uh, he was on for i think two weeks with the twins to so the wife and the twins uh the 16 year old twins and uh tons of photos tons of video and then they flew to thailand and i think it was five days in thailand in phuket thailand and now robert is back home in saint thomas just so you know the lay of the land and we found out yesterday that well there was an incident in in thailand there was it was a small incident Something about being naked and something about a 5,000 bot fine uh, and somebody dared someone to do it and someone said, what, 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 I'm, you're not, what, are you going to ignore a dare? I mean, come on. Uh, but uh, the twins were involved and uh, one of them got caught and one did not. <laughs> that's, that's all I know. Uh, that's what happened yesterday. Just so you know, what, what are we talking about? This is what's happening. And that's why Robert can't post any photos or videos. The twins will handle all of that. They are the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They are the, uh, 
uh, the sensors uh, of videos uh, from Robert's end of things. And that's just the way it is. All right, Deanna, 50 Cent Frosties at Wendy's. Laugh out loud. Uh, Debbie Emanuel, hi, Bruce and everyone. 82 in sunny Northern California today. Smoke is not too bad today. She's in Chico, Northern California, where the fires have been. And I'm glad to hear things are improving there. Uh, Debbie, welcome back to the show. I'm glad you're here. Tom Henry, that's what I just finished, uh, Tom is saying, a uh, Wendy's Frosty. Wendy Thompson, hey, hey, uh, hey, they named Wendy's after me. How about that? Uh, Deanna laughing out loud. Uh, Tom Henry, I saw a post on NCL Latitude's Facebook today. St. Martin has a nude beach, question mark? Um, I, I don't know. Is that true? Uh, anyone know that? Paul Wilgus, Wendy Thompson. So you are the one to complain to when I get bad food there. <laughs> Yeah, one person's uh, good is another person's problem. Uh, Wendy, $5 for every complaint I hear. There you go. You want to talk to me? Give me five bucks and I'll listen to your complaint. Paul Wiggins is laughing out loud. Tom Henry, hi, Debbie. Uh, Robert Brandt, um, Deanna, uh, Mieta Wendy's is the is the preferred fast food here in St. Thomas over all the rest. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Um, he's saying Wendy's is the preferred fast food here. Uh, Deanna, good to know. Wendy Thompson, order the fries and chili. Robert Brandt, uh, Tom Henry. Nude beach, yes, on St. Martin. There is a nude beach on St. Martin. How about that? Silo, there is a Richmond, uh, Washington too. Hanford area. So there's Richmond's everywhere. Isn't that something? Uh, I just thought there was a Richmond, Virginia, Richmond, British Columbia, but no, there's a Richmond, uh, Washington. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, a uh, cool jazz. Saw all those bees on the news on the hot dog vendor's tent yesterday near Hard Rock Cafe in the city of New York. Had to have beekeeper come and get him out of there. Uh, yeah, they, and it was done. No big deal. Took uh, They took care of it. Wendy Thompson, rum punch going in now. Here we go. Debbie Emanuel, hi, Tom. Hi. Nice pics of you and all of your new tra traveling with Bruce merchandise. Uh, folks, those of you, those of you who don't know, on Facebook there is a group page for traveling with Bruce, spelled with two L's. Traveling with Bruce, it's spelled two L's. Uh, pop in there anytime. Uh, we uh, find that after the show is over, a whole bunch of folks head over to the uh, group page and they start posting photos of their merchandise that they're picking up and their favorite cruise ships, their latest holidays, other stuff going on. We have a lot of fun over there, and if you want to become a a member of that group page, just ask. I'll let you in. Love to have you join on the uh, group page. Fantastic. Uh, it's growing like leaps and bounds. It's great. Uh, what's going in here? Oh, Wendy's got the rum punch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Robert Brandt, um, to clarify, Charlie with Bruce, one of my other sons owns Tavern on the waterfront. Okay, one of my other sons. All right, not the twins. So they, so they twins, aren't just sitting in a bar. Okay, they're they're actually at their brother, their older brother's place, and they are doing a new website. So they're working, and I seem I seem like a bad dad. <laughs> no, you got it, you got it going on, man. You got mum with them. Uh, number one, number two, they're in the bros' place, and you got them working. I think this is great. Uh, they're designing a new website for the bar. This is fantastic. Keeping in the family, and uh, you know, you got the one son working the uh, the bar. That's a business. You got these two young guys going to college next year. Hopefully, they'll go right into social media, web development, marketing, and they will be rich and they'll be off of your uh, dime. Uh, I like the way you got this going on. It's very good. Robert Brandt, if they were sitting in a bar with their mom, hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, Paul loves this. Right, crazy rich guys, uh, drinking age is 18 here. We can't drink. We're only 16. We're not allowed to drink with mom. Uh, you know, I hear you guys. It's all good. It's all good. Cam, yay, a new carnival LNG ship. Yes, it's coming. Cam, welcome back, buddy. Barb, I watched Michelle Angela Nukua, uh YouTube video. It was the best blog I've seen on YouTube. I think I have narrowed my cruise ship trip to Alaska, now waiting for good fares on vacations to go. Dot. Com. Well, Barb, that's a great, that's a great, uh, great little story there. I love that. And vacations to go. Yeah, keep your eye open for deals. Uh, I, I'm assuming you're thinking about next year versus this year because it's kind of getting late. Uh, although I might be wrong, there are deals right now, but uh, certainly next year I think there'll be a lot of deals to Alaska next year. Uh, good plan, Robert Brandt. No one answers my texts. <laughs> He's all. <on. laughs> Oh, uh, cool jazz. Yes, Tracy Dunlop. He vacuumed them up. They must have been hungry. Laugh out loud. Okay. So, Henry, thanks, Debbie. Lisa Morris. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Bob O. Hi, Bruce and all. Hi, Bob O. Cool jazz. Bruce used to be a cheerleader. He's just not telling. Uh, yeah, never, never did cheers. Tom Henry. Uh, Robert Brandt. So, are you not cruising on the Bliss next March? Maybe sneak on so we could meet you in Miami. 
Uh, good question. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Cool Jazz. I was uh, thinking the same thing. Laughing out loud. Robert Brandt, Tom Henry, I have nothing but free time, so anything's possible. <laughs> Silo, watch the movie last night based on a true story, A, a Drift. Wow, scary as hell. What an ordeal. Ah, uh, okay. A, a drift. All right. Um, cool jazz. Laugh out loud. Paul Reggie and her man. Hey, everybody. My girlfriend on Horizon today. My girlfriend's on Horizon today. Didn't hear anything about ship hitting the pier. They left on time. Yeah, the the the, the cruise line will not brag to the new four thousand passengers. Hey, hey, everybody. How you doing? Hey, guess what happened this morning when we came to get you guys? Uh, we crashed into the pier. Uh, they, no, they're not going to brag about that. They're going to just. Keep that very quiet. No one's going to say a darn thing. The staff's been told, shut the heck up about that and just let that slide. Hopefully, Bruce didn't do a video about it on YouTube. Oh, God, Bruce did a video on it on YouTube. Oh, no. And now the world's finding out that that happened. <laughs> uh, but, no, they won't brag about it on the to the folks on the cruise for sure. Uh, they left okay out of New York City. No problem. Rich guy, uh, crazy rich guy's travels. We can't wait to see Adrian. Oh, I know. I can't wait for you to see Adrian. I can't wait. I'm dying to find out what's going to happen. Guys, you've got to tell all of us on this channel what is going to happen, what's happening with Adrian on The Bliss, because this should be fun. MG Toe, Tom, 30 years ago, people were allowed to go on ships that were not passengers for a drink with friends in the main dining room. Yeah, and then they stopped that. Yeah, that's true. They, they've stopped that since. Paul Wilgus, crazy rich guy travels. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Laugh out loud. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we can't wait for you guys to meet Adrian. Uh, De Deanna, uh, so on Royal Caribbean Liberty of the Seal Seas, where the ship listed uh, our first morning after we left New York, laugh out loud. Uh, is that right? So even, even leaving New York, you were... Maybe I need to stop taking cruises from New York and leave from someplace else. Laugh out loud. Uh, yeah, it's a curse. I don't know. Yeah, uh, at least I'll, I'll tell you what. You're putting the ships that you're on through their paces, aren't you? And you get, you're finding out what they're made of. What can this ship handle and show me right now in, in the port? I want to see what this ship can do. Uh, yeah, wow. Crazy rich guy travels, Paul Wilgus. Uh, we are trying to get more friends to go on the on the same cruise. we got six already. We're trying to get more. Mary Ellen Shaw is here. Hi, Mary. Uh, so. The captain doesn't dock. I've never known how the whole pilot ship thing works. Apparently, apparently, uh, the captain uh, brings the ship in uh, to the harbor. The harbor pilot comes on board the ship. When that little boat comes up beside the cruise ship, the harbor pilot jumps in, comes up to the bridge, and he or she knows, supposed to know, all the lays of the land. They're supposed to know every current, riptide, uh you know, high tide, low tide, how the harbor reacts, how things work, wind from this direction, wind from that direction, wind head on, wind tail. They're supposed to know everything about getting in and out of these harbors and uh, docking these ships. Uh, Captain kind of, you know, you, you tell us what to do. We'll do it. Uh, you're the boss. Uh, because uh, the captain is not allowed to, quote, you know, operate the vessel theoretically in the harbor. If the harbor master's there, it's the harbor master's job to keep the ship safe and uh, keep everything organized. I was kind of wondering if yesterday morning. Now this is just this is this is the twelve year old Bruce talking here. This is nineteen. This is right. Yeah, nineteen sixty seven. Okay, twelve year old Bruce talking. In nineteen sixty seven, Batman was on TV. You remember Batman with Adam West? I, I love that show. And I was thinking, well, maybe maybe the the Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin. Uh, they they took over the the, the bridge. They, they they took over the ship uh, coming into New York, and they were going to create all kinds of havoc. And then the commissioner put the bat signal up into the sky, you know, because it was five in the morning. It was dark. It was dark. Get Batman to to save the day. Batman and Robin somehow got their bat boat and got up to the you know got onto the ship with that rope of theirs. You know how they had that thing and they throw it up there and then they walk up the side of the ship and they got into the uh, into the bridge and they had the pow bang zoom you know all those sound effects got those bad guys out of there and tried to get the ship corrected but they couldn't stop it in time because you know it was already headed for the pier but they got it stopped only with a little bit of damage and then they you know they, they got the captain all set up and then they left the ship and then they took the bad guys with them i thought that would have made a great batman show in 1967 uh, but then that's just my 12 year old self, uh, you know, in the middle of the night going, well, that would be a kind of a neat story. Uh, but that's not how it went or, or was it, or was it, or was, was the real Batman, which everyone knows is Michael Keaton. The real Batman was on that ship yesterday, uh, saving everybody's, you know, what tush, uh, and taking care of his, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that story. Uh, but that's the real Batman. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> Paul Wilkins, Casey Rich, guys. Try to get more friends to stay in the Haven. Uh, Blaine, hi, Bruce and all. 86, beautiful Hidden Held Island, uh, South Carolina. Blaine, welcome back to the channel today. Good to have you. MG told Mary, all the ships are docked by computer now. Crazy rich guys will try, but their parents uh, bitch. Uh, but their parents bitch, Paul. Because it's a good amount more than the than the standard. Uh, it's, it's a little expensive. So, you know, you, you're trying to get parents to get the kids to go and it's money. Yeah, there you have it. MG Toad, just like airplanes, uh, it's all uh, all by computer, apparently. Robert Brandt, they are good at all that stuff. Uh, designing websites and social media. I think they're going to do very well. Robert Brandt, crazy rich guy, travels. Have your dad pay the difference. I'll out, laugh out loud, waiting to get screamed at. Uh, <laughs> Robert Brandt, Paul Lucas, uh, no. <laughs> laughing out loud. Crazy rich guys, nothing, nothing was small. N nothing was small. Um, uh, laugh at my, you know what, up. Uh, Robert Brent, Gaia, <laughs> Elaine, uh, Blaine, uh, I'll be there Sunday. Can't wait. Robert Brandt, Paul Lugas, see why I'm retired at 55. I can't take it. Uh, Don Jordan is here. Greetings from, greetings from California. Don, how you doing, buddy? Welcome back to the show. Steve Bartley, I have been getting ads for some weird website before your show comes on. I'll let it run to get you some credit. I know you have nothing to do with the ad selection. Uh, Steve, I think if you let the ad run about 30 seconds and then you click off, it's all good. I think as soon as it hit 30 seconds, I get paid. After 30 seconds, you, you, it's your time. So uh, just go 30 seconds and then let the ad, you know, skip the ad or whatever you want to do. It's all good. Paul Wilgus, Robert Brandt, I think I would still work. Uh, I would still work just not to have to put up with them. <laughs> Robert, that's Paul's suggestion. You know, I, I'd still work not to have to put up with these guys. Uh, let's see. Prison Mike, what is the worst thing about prison? Uh, prison Mike, uh, oh my goodness, what kind of question is that on my channel? Uh, let's see here, Robert Brandt, uh, uh, Paul Wilgus, and I hear the Rome service in prison is very slow. Robert Brandt is saying, um, crazy rich guys, we both are studying architecture. Hmm, that's interesting. But computer stuff is easy. Ah, crazy rich guys, they have room service in prison? <laughs> guys just say, Paul Wilgus, crazy rich guy travels, you guys are identical twins. Uh, Robert Brandt, they are. Silo, September 1st, Bliss, Alaska Cruise is showing inside at four ninety nine. Not bad. Crazy rich guys, Paul Lucas. Yes, it is. Paul Lucas, Robert Rant. So they can switch who goes to what classes. Well, yeah, that's one of the issues right there. Rob Souter, Robert Brandt, been to St. Thomas, uh, Ontario a number of times. Does that count? <laughs> not not St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Crazy rich guys, uh, uh, Janu, I, I, Janu, am nine minutes, I'm nine minutes older than Kaya. I'm, I'm ancient compared to him. He's just a kid. I'm nine minutes older. Cam is laughing out loud. Reggie and her man, the bliss isn't filled up. Jim Thomas, so Bruce. I know you get a chicken bake when you're at Costco, but do you bring a box home from the frozen section too? Let me answer that. Uh, that's a very good question. I appreciate that answer. Uh, those of you who don't know, I love going to Costco. The closest Costco to me from Creston, British Columbia, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, two hours, 20 minutes from, from my door to the parking lot at Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, and I love having a chicken bake because they don't have chicken bakes at Costco in Canada, but they have them in the U.S. You can buy chicken bakes in the frozen section at Costco in the USA and bring them home. Problem is, they're not really the same. There's something not the same about them. I bake them, I nuke them, and they just don't come out like they do when I have them at Costco. I don't know what it is. Uh, are they fresher at Costco? Are they? Are they? I don't know. I don't get. I don't get the uh, the difference. So I, I have bought them on occasion, Jim. But uh, I've kind of given up. I, I just find that I can't replicate the uh, the uh, the the taste, the texture, the whatever it is that uh, that I get when I'm at the store itself. So I just try to go to Costco as often as possible and enjoy a chicken bake right from the uh, right from the oven. Robert Brandt, Paul Wilgus, uh, they could study sidewalk installation, and I'd be happy to pay for four years away. I mean, just study anything, basket weaving, whatever it takes. Uh, Jim Thomas just happened to see them when Deb and I went there last time. Um, and Jordan, uh, morning, Bruce. And all, sorry, I'm late. It's 24 Celsius in Brisbane today. And Jordan is here from Brisbane. It's got to be five or six in the morning there. Welcome, and to the show. Uh, not too bad. Your whatever minutes you've got to spare, we love having you here. It's fantastic. Paul Wilgus is, uh, is laughing. Uh, Robert saying good morning. And um, let's see here. Uh, Jim Thomas joke, but mailing you a box. Uh, uh, Jim Thomas is saying joke, but mailing. Are you mailing me a box? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Debbie Emanuel, good morning. Uh, Paul Wilgus, hello, Ann. And Jordan, morning, Robert and twins. Reggie and her man. And Jordan, how are you? Good morning. Wendy Thompson, is that the uh, Penn State College that has an archery scholarship? 
uh, crazy rich guys. Hello, Ann. Uh, Cam, usually the captains dock, but they usually advise the captains to a T as far as telling them what rudder as a pod positions to go in, et cetera, et cetera. Tom Henry uh, at CRG. Uh, how about the third and fourth person is free promo? I will pick up Paul and we can join you. <laughs> Uh, Cam was laughing out loud. Nurse Nancy, hello, Ann, Brittany, I, Bruce, and all. Ann Jordan, hey, Debbie, hey, uh, Paul, Reggie, hola, Cam, Paul, Lucas, Tom, Henry, great idea, I'm in. <laughs> and Cam, hola, hola, Ann. Hi, Brittany, log with <laughs> Tom, Henry, uh, ta-da, Ann, welcome. Silo Steve, no, the Bliss Alaska final crews are, are looking good price-wise. I was looking at Norwegian this morning when I was buying water for my trip. If I had the time, I would jump on that $4.99 inside deal. Crazy rich guys are third and fourth free, Tom Henry, because there are three other rooms beside ours. And Jordan, hey, Nurse Nancy, Tom Henry, crazy rich guys travel. Pack them in. Uh, Barb, I am planning my cruise for 3019. No, you're not. 2019. I know what you're doing, Barb. It's okay. It's it's that darn autocorrect. Brittany Lockwood, <coughs> I had a full day of classes, and I and I just have had a busy day, and I, I just lost track of time. Uh, Brittany, it's all good. You're in college now. You dedicate yourself to your studies. Make it happen, girl. You're getting a big, long weekend coming up. It's all good. You're going to love it. Nurse Nancy, hi, Brittany, house class. Tom Henry, uh, crazy rich guys, third and fourth in the same cabin. Oh, man. David um, is here. I can't pronounce that flat last name. Hey, Bruce, new to your channel. Really enjoy watching. David, how are you? David P. is here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. Uh, the gang will welcome you in. Glad you're here. Uh, I, I'm glad you found me. Nurse Nancy, what are you studying, Brittany? Uh, Brittany, it, it's 81. It, it, I guess that's the temperature. Uh, hi, David. Uh, Nurse Nancy saying, uh, Tom, Tom Henry, all eight could fit in your two-bedroom suite. <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, Debbie, uh, welcome to you, David P. Uh, David, hello, Nurse Nancy. Crazy rich guy travels uh, at, at Tom Henry. I'll, I'll talk to Robert Grant about that. Maybe we can then divide the costs and get lots more guys on that cruise. Uh, David P., thanks. Ridgey and her man, me too, at Silo Steve. Um, everybody wants to go with these guys. Yeah, Jim Thomas, Nurse Nancy, I'm just chuckling about your underwear comment last night, mostly because I think I do as well. Nurse Nancy. Uh, Wendy Thompson, twins just have camera equipment ready at all times. Watch out. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, classes are going well. I have had, uh, I have a professor trying to decide whether class will be on Wednesdays or 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 whether ever why uh, or or ever. I'm not sure what, what she's saying. Crazy Rich Guys uh, saying we do. Um, we have cameras. We will well, lots of cameras. Blaine, uh, Elaine uh, is he's saying, Elaine, pick up a copy of Island Events magazines magazine while on your Hilton Head uh, visit. Also visit us online at Hilton Head uh, is land .com. Is that what it is? Hilton Head land uh, to see what great things the island offers. Have fun. There you go. There's there's some good advice. Wendy Thompson, I'm ready for my next rum punch. Hey, I hear you there. Silo, I paid eight ninety nine for that inside on the Bliss inaugural. But that was less than 48 or 24 hours before the cruise. $4.99 is a deal. It is $500 for a week. All that food you can eat. Oh man, that's a deal. Brittany Lockwood, other week, uh, other other week, it will meet on, on Mondays and next week it'll be on Wednesdays. It'll just be on Wednesday. Brittany's got all these college schedules. She's trying to work out. It's not easy, folks. Uh, you remember college? Do you remember? You remember college? Uh, what's going on here? Crazy Rich Guys, we are going to University of Pennsylvania. Rich Guys, it's in Philadelphia. Reggie and her man, when is cruise season in Alaska? I think April to about September. Um, Silo, Seattle uh, to Alaska starts in April, runs to late September. Uh, Crazy Rich Guys, Wendy Thompson, we can get you a rum bunch. Uh, so Chevy first is here. Hi, y'all. Um, it's, it's hey, Bruce, not hi, LOL. <laughs> 25 days. <coughs> 25 days until Carnival Conquest. My bags are packed. Just waiting for waiting on Friday before the cruise to drive down a day early. Right on Chevy and first. That's going to be awesome. Silo Steve, but the bliss started on June the 2nd. That's right. Cause that's when it got there. Reggie and her man, crazy rich guys travel. Did you guys grow up in St. Thomas? Uh, yep. Yep. All our lives. Um, so we are West Indians. They say crazy rich guys laugh out loud, blonde West Indians. We are, there you go. I finally caught up with everybody here. Um, okay. A little bit of news for all you guys. Here we go. A uh, couple things I want to talk about. First thing was, uh, the uh, Holland America, the Noy Staten Dam, brand new ship under construction in Italy. For Holland America, she just completed her second set of sea trials. The first set she completed on August the 10th. Then she completed her second set of sea trials August the 18th. And she is now back in uh, dry dock. She's being finished up, and she will be ready and delivered in early December this year. A lot of interior work will be done now to get her completed. 
and Hall in America will have a brand new ship ready to go. About 2,100 passengers, 900 odd feet long, uh, something like that, 950 feet. Uh, nice ship like the rest. Uh, Hall America does it right, and you get a chance to get in that ship, take it, you get a good deal. Uh, over to Port Canaveral. Some of you were talking about Port Canaveral earlier today. The news came out. It's official, uh, a carnival, and the uh, commissioners uh, of uh, Port Canaveral uh, have come to an agreement. They have signed off on a brand new port deal for carnival. It's a brand new 25-year deal between carnival and uh, Port Canaveral starting September 1st of uh, this year. Uh, the 25-year deal comes with four five-year extensions that can be uh, added on at the, at the option of the parties. So that could take this deal up to a 45-year arrangement if both sides are happy with how it's going. The fee to Carnival starting this year will be $14.5 million a year, and there will be yearly um, increases to that price. And the reason it'll go up, it's depending on the number of passengers that Carnival will put on ships, take off ships, and so on. The Port Authority is going to build a brand new 185,000 square foot terminal building, and they're going to build a, a new parking facility that can handle 1,800 cars. So those of you in Florida who are coming down to uh, Port Canaveral to go on a cruise, Terminal 3, which is the C Carnival Terminal 3, will be able to handle 1,800 actually vehicles uh, it'll handle not only cars but it'll handle rvs and and vans and so on um everything is coming in at 150 million dollars for the budget and should be open june 2020 so that is uh, less than two years from now 23 months to, i guess or 22 months i guess to be exact <clears throat> this new this new terminal terminal three will coincide timing wise with Carnival's largest ship ever, had not yet named, but it's going to be 6,500 passenger capacity, 180,000 tons, and they'll start using Port Canaveral for that first of their big mega ships starting in 2020. So Carnival and Port Canaveral are locked into a partnership for many years to come. Uh, this is now, I believe, Carnival's uh, 30th or 40th year of using Port Canaveral as a home port. And I believe Carnival used Port Canaveral as its first ever home port, but I could be mistaken on that uh, on that claim. But it's been a long, fruitful partnership for both. They've grown together over the, uh, the decades. Carnival has Princess Cruise Lines, Hall in America. They own Cunard. They own P&O, they own Costa Cruises, they own Ada Cruises. Uh, so a whole bunch of cruise ships uh, come into Port Canaveral, and that Terminal 3 will be heavily used, I bet you, seven days a week. There will be a Carnival-branded ship using that terminal uh, going forward once it's up and running in June 2020. Big news and, uh, and positive news. Tons of jobs. Uh, hotels everywhere. Uh, airlines love it because people flying in and out of Orlando. Disneyland couldn't be happier. Uh, Universal Studios couldn't be happier. Uh, the entire region couldn't be happier that this symbiotic relationship has gone to this level of, uh, of cooperation. Fourteen and a half million a year going to the Port Authority. That will go a long way towards the 150 million to builder. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a long-term, uh, very profitable uh, relationship between both parties. Very, very good. Um, let's see here. I'm uh, going to catch up with a few more messages and I'll catch up with the rest of the news here. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> blonde Indians. Okay. Uh, Paul Lugas, uh, he's lo loving, it, uh, loving that comment. Um, um, Robert Brandt, all my kids were raised in St. Thomas. Uh, Reggie and her man. Wow. So, uh, Brittany Lockwood. I'm a sociology major with a uh, concentration in social work. I'm currently taking four sociology classes this semester. MG Toe, what is Royal's new beverage positive policy? Coming right up. Hang on, Reggie and her man. Everybody, you forgot. Thumbs up for traveling with Bruce. Please give Bruce thumbs up. So, that would be great, guys. Thank you. Robert Brandt laughing out loud. MG, Nurse Nancy, I, I didn't forget. Uh, na thumbs up, Nurse Nancy saying, I'm giving them thumbs up. Crazy rich guys, we gave the finger. 
<laughs> Thank you, crazy rich guys. I appreciate that. Robert Brandt. Oh, those kids. Oh, Tom Henry. Oh, no. Paul Wolgus, crazy rich guys. Uh, behave. Um, Reggie and her man. Uh, having some homemade bru Brunello wine. Brunello wine with dinner. My man makes his own each year. How about that? Fantastic. Uh, Robert Brandt. How, how is it I have any hair? How do I have any hair with these two guys? Uh, 70 watching. That's good. Isn't that something? Uh, we hit 70 today. That's a new record. And Jordan thumbs up. Wendy Thompson, hair club for men. Paul Wilgus, uh, Robert Brandt. I wouldn't have any. It would have all fallen out. I would have pulled it all out. If I had any. Tom Henry, uh, traveling with Bruce. Do you have any updates on the new NCL terminal in Miami? Um, no, not really, other than what I've read lately, uh, about a month ago was the last I heard. It's all official. It's been voted through. It's under construction. I think it's next year. I don't think it's going to be a 2020. I think it's a 2019 opening. Uh, it's full speed ahead. And with parking, I think, for 2,000 cars or vehicles right beside it. I also know that Royal Caribbean's terminal is under construction big time, too, in Miami. Lots going on. Robert Brandt, oh, Paul. You just don't know. You, you just don't know. <laughs> and they are doing it from a distance, these two guys. MG Toe, everyone in the room must buy a package. No longer just one person. Ah, okay. Um, uh, uh, Robert Brandt, Wendy Thompson. Soon, soon. Uh, Wendy Thompson, one daughter well, was enough for us, Robert. Uh, same here. Uh, same with us. Robert Brandt, Wendy Thompson, six boys, one girl. Oh, no, Wendy. Th oh, Robert Brandt has six boys and one girl. Oh, man, seven. Oh, my gosh. Two left, just two left. Then they're all gone. Oh man, Robert, you're so close. Hang on there, buddy. Hang on. Okay. Uh, Royal Caribbean uh, announcement today. Uh, the carry-on drink policy uh, for Royal Caribbean. Okay, those of us who are passengers who love to go on cruises, uh, we we kind of know how this works. Although things are changing all the time. Those of you who've never been on a cruise before, if you're watching this live or you're watching this on a recording. Uh, drink policy. What can you bring on a cruise ship? People ask all the time, what am I allowed to bring on a cruise ship? When it comes to drinks, beverages, uh, it varies between cruise lines. Um, it used to be, uh, even, even a couple of years ago, what I would do, uh, I would always want to bring along my favorite beverage, which is a, a caffeine free diet Coke. That's my beverage of choice. Uh, when I'm in the restaurant ordering a, you know, a meal and then I order a, something to drink, I, I have to order a diet Coke with the caffeine in it because they don't have caffeine free diet coke in cans you can get some cruise lines that have coca-cola or the uh, drink packages a soda fountain drink package they'll have the machines and they say that they offer caffeine free diet coke available but it's a fountain drink only kind of like the can because it holds the fuzz longer i like burping okay that's just my style anyway <laughs> When I go on a cruise, what I like to do is I like to shove a couple of 12 packs of caffeine-free Diet Coke cans right in my luggage, my check baggage. I'll shove a one in one big one, another one in another big one. And then when I get to my room, the bags will get there hours later. And I got two dozen caffeine-free colas on board the ship that I can now enjoy in my cabin or use in my, uh, my sport cups right here. Fill them up with ice that the room attendant brings every morning. He brings me a bucket of ice. Fill that with ice. Pour in a couple of cans of caffeine-free cola. Twist it up. Take that to the spa. Now I've got this thing. It's like a liter plus of, of drinks with me, of, of refreshment for the spa. Well, the new policy at Royal Caribbean, I think, is going to be copied by everybody else. Here it is. Any drink you want to bring on board that is non-alcoholic you can no longer check in your checked baggage you must now bring it on board with you in a carry-on and the maximum allowable uh, uh amount of beverages that you can bring per cabin is 12 cans of non-alcoholic beverage so in my case uh i would only be allowed to bring in 12 caffeine free colas in cans in my carry-on, which of course is precious real estate. Carry-ons carry my cameras, my computer, my YouTube stuff. It'll carry all my valuables. It'll carry all the electronics I have. It'll carry all the meds if I have any meds. It'll carry my first day's clothing. It might carry, it might carry uh, all my bathroom stuff. Uh, it, that's what carry-ons are for. Uh, there's not a lot of space for a, a, a dozen cans of Coke 
uh, on a carry-on. And so they're getting very restrictive on how much you can pack on board the ship. Of course, you know why. They want you to buy the beverages from them at $2.85 a can when we're buying these for 3 bucks a dozen at our local grocery store. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? So Royal Caribbean is limiting non-alcoholic beverages to carry-on baggage only, maximum 12 cans per cabin, not per person, per cabin uh, allowable. You're still allowed on Royal Caribbean to bring a bottle of wine per adult in your checked luggage. So you can leave a bottle of wine in your checked luggage but you, for each person, but you can't put, apparently, non-alcoholic beverages. That includes water, sodas, energy drinks, all that stuff. Uh, that is the announcement that came out today, effective September 1 on Royal Caribbean. Something tells me they're all going to do this. They're all going to get more and more restrictive as to what you can bring and what you can't bring and how you can bring it on board. I think gone will be the day where you will see people walking along the gangplank and you'll see mom and dad and then you'll see the teenage, 17-year-old uh, teenage boy holding a 24-pack of water on his shoulder from Costco, the 35 cent bottles of water that are $4 each on the board, on board the ship or three bucks each, whatever they're charging. Those days are gone. They're not gonna allow them to do it. They'll allow them to take 12, 12 bottles of water for the whole cabin, for the whole family. That's it. I think that's where it's gonna go. There's a few exceptions for um, uh, baby formula, um, uh, children's dietary supplement uh, drinks, that kind of thing. Um, medical reasons, uh, distilled water. If you've got kidney stones, you have to drink distilled water, not other water. There, there's certain medical exemptions, but for the rest of us, 99.8% of us, uh, the restrictions are getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And you cannot bring beverages on board a cruise ship on Royal Caribbean when on the cruise. So if you've brought 12 cans with you at the beginning of the cruise, and then three days later, you're in Puerto Vallarta, and across the street from Puerto Vallarta's dock is the Walmart. You pop over there and pick up 12 cans of Coca-Cola Light. Not allowed to bring them on board. No. You only get one time to be allowed to bring beverages on the ship. It's at, on embarkation day only under this new policy. You cannot bring additional beverages during the cruise onto the ship. That is the new policy that, as I read it today, uh, from Royal Caribbean. Uh, obviously, it's a it's a uh, it's a, a control thing. Uh, they want to control what is coming on, and uh, they want to obviously uh, uh, maximize profits uh, by selling us drinks on board that ship. Uh, that's where I see it uh, see it happening. All right, uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Reggie and your man, Robert Grant, must be the rum. Uh, <laughs> Seven kids. Uh, Nan Nurse Nancy, wow, Robert, that's a crew. Robert Brent, already three grandkids. Oh, no, Robert Brent, did you ever, didn't you ever learn what caused it? Uh, uh, laugh out loud, uh, Paul is asking. Uh, Robert, did, what, what caused all this? Robert, uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, five was fine and and delay, 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 and out pop these two. <laughs> five was okay, but then two more. Uh, Nurse Nancy, those bees and those birds, oh, my gosh. Crazy rich guy travels. That that's not too nice. <laughs> yeah, we're they're talking about you. Yeah, Paul Wilgus, uh, Robert Brandt just proves the saying: "Good things come to those who wait." Is so wrong. Laugh out loud. It's such a lie. It's such a lie. Wendy Thompson, twins, um, two times the fun. Robert Brandt, drinking, drinking, drinking. Nurse Nancy, these guys seem seem like they're loads of fun. Um, Paul Wilgus, crazy rich guy travels. You guys are. So much fun to tease uh, Steve Bartley at Paul Wilgus. I knew a guy in the Army that had two by a girl. He swore that she had no clue how it happened. He didn't marry her, but did raise the kids. Uh, the girl, I had no idea how this is happening. Tom Henry, um, traveling with Bruce. Uh, someone was at Amazon again today, needed a nice tripod. Oh, man, I'll look for that tomorrow and see if that goes through, Tom. Thank you so much for your support of my channel when you shop on Amazon through my link. I love it. Crazy rich guys. Why? Why? MG Toe, the, the, the H with RCL, uh, don't drink, use drugs instead. <laughs> well, you know, my strategy would be uh, um, bring your dozen to board, you know, do that. And then uh, when you get to port, you know, you get to uh, Cabo or 
St. Thomas or you get, you get to Puerto, you know, San Juan, Puerto Rico, um, enjoy your beverages there, buy them on shore, enjoy them big time. And then uh, limit your alcohol consumption on board the ship as much as you can. But you know, if it's a four day cruise and you only got one or two stops and one of them is a private Island, the cruise ship runs, you're done. You gotta, you gotta pay the price. So you gotta watch your budget. Uh, Nurse Nancy. Yeah. I think it's pretty neat that you are out here talking with us old folks, crazy rich guy travels. We love it. Robert Brandt, it sounds like someone will keep making money on the beverages. I think we're pointing at Robert. Yes, Robert will keep making money on beverages because they're making us buy them through the ship, through Robert, remember. Uh, Silo Steve, Diet Coke is full of aspartame, which was originally invented as an insect killer, but was too sweet. There you go. Uh, crazy rich guys travels. We are just here to give our dad a hard time. Uh, 16 years and counting. Uh, there you go. Uh, Tom Henry, Nurse Nancy, I agree. You should help Robert stay young. Wendy Thompson, real Coca-Cola for me. She says, Richard C., great, sounds reasonable by Royal Caribbean. Uh, Paul Wilgus, crazy rich guy travels. Do you mean you don't do enough of, it, of that at home? You don't give him a hard time at home? Regina, your man at Silo Steve, I didn't know that, but ha hate the taste of aspartame and, and stevia. Stevia? Way too sweet. Crazy Rich Guys, no no answering that. No no answering that. R Crazy Rich Guys travels. So sounds like a good policy to us. We like our dad having money in his wallet. <laughs> so make make the passengers buy beverages on board cruise ships, which eventually makes more money for Robert Brandt, which means the twins get, get the hit of that for more money. It's a good deal. It's all it, This is called trickle-down economics right here, folks. That's how this thing works. Um, <laughs> MG Toe CPAP machines. Uh, Silo Steve, it actually ties into Donald Rumsfeld, so you can thank him. Donald Rumsfeld did what? <laughs> Laugh out loud, Robert. I've been good, Robert has said. Uh, Paul Lucas, yes, you have. Robert Brandt, buy it on the ship and buy it in port. Just buy it. <laughs> MG uh, saying rum runners are going to get popular again. Here we go. I don't know about that. Well, it is a policy that the cruise line is being upfront about. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't, I can't, I can't accuse them of hiding the policy. They're being upfront. They're giving a bit of notice. So September 1, this is how it's going to go. And Jordan is saying soft drink doesn't worry me. We don't drink it. Uh, there are four of us uh, in 104 days on the uh, the uh, Ovation of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. Uh, can you still bring your water bottles on board to drink? We will be uh, a, we will be a sweet. How does that work? Well, uh, uh, again, I, I, it might well be, and that you're going to be limited to twelve drinks for the entire suite. It's possible, um, but I would say that uh, um, uh, one trick I would employ this is just this is me. If there's four of you traveling, uh, two of you uh, go through security with the drinks, and then ten minutes later, two more of you go through with your drinks. Let's see if they figure it out. Uh, how will they know? I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just water. I mean, big deal. The other thing, too, and you know, you, you bring a bottle of water on board. You drink it, right? After it's done, go down to the buffet with the empty bottle. Take it with you. Go to the buffet, and they have the water station down there. Refill your bottle there. Use their water that they offer you in the buffet and fill your bottle up and use it again and again and again. There's ways. Water's free on board the ship. Drinking the water from the sink is fine, absolutely fine. But getting it from the water station should be cold. I'd do that. Um, I don't know if that's a, why that shouldn't be a problem. Rob Sutter, uh, screw Royal Caribbean. They will never see a plug nickel from me. They can try putting that in their bank account. Oh, there you go. Well, Rob, hey, whatever, whatever turns your crank if you don't want to go that way. But I, I think this is going to be industry standard. I think this is going to go across the board. Robert Brand, they don't let you cook your own food. So they should let you make your own drinks. They should. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, fair enough. Tom Henry. <laughs> laugh out loud. Robert Brand. Just saying. Um, NCL is worse. Uh, Ron uh, MG Toe saying, Richard, R crazy rich guys. Uh, we made grilled cheese with an iron. <laughs> yeah, you made grilled, grilled cheese with an iron, but you didn't make it on board a cruise ship. I mean, come on. You're not doing that on a cruise ship, you guys. You guys are ordering room service. You're not fooling me. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I agree, Robert. Uh, Robert Brandt, uh, when? Crazy Rich Guys on the cruise. I can't believe it. I, I don't know. Why would you want to do that? I don't understand. Robert Brandt's going, oh, no. <laughs> One, there shouldn't be an iron in your room because it's a fire hazard. And two, you shouldn't be making food in your cabin. Why would you need to do that? Uh, just go to the buffet. Eat. And, Jordan, it blows my mind why people pay for water. When when I bring my water bottle, I fill up from the buffet with a separate glass hygiene. There you go. See? 
Uh, Tom Henry, where did you get an iron? So there, there, there you go. It's Robert Brandt. I, I somehow believe that they did that. I somehow believe that they found a way to make grilled cheese sandwiches in, in their cruise cabin on a cruise. I, I just I just have to believe it. Um, he's just he just knows them too well. I guess that's the issue. Uh, Paul Lucas, I was thinking the same, Robert. Uh, somehow they they pulled this off. I don't know. Reggie and her man, uh, crazy rich guys travel. The high school where I used to work had a grilled cheese club. They made sandwiches with their advisor each week. Well, how about that? Mary Allen Shaw saying Carnival has already banned bringing on water or anything in plastic, and wine had to be in the carry-on. See, there, there, that's what's happening out there. Crazy Rich Guys Travels. The laundry room has an iron. <laughs> By the way, there's, there's one over. We can make the sandwiches over there. Oh, man. You guys, I don't, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I'm glad I don't have 16 year old twin boys uh, that I have to raise. I, I had my one daughter, and I, I'm done. I'm done. Look at the hair's gone. Well, there wasn't much there to start with, but whatever was there, it's gone. Uh, it's long gone. But she's great. Um, Nurse Nancy, is that why my formal dress had cheese burned into it? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> laughing out loud. Wendy Thompson, they can find food on a ship if they eat like our grandkids do. Look out. Uh, they can... <laughs> oh, my God. Robert Brandt, well, and now we see why Viking banned under 18s. Now you know why no one under 18 is allowed on the river cruises anymore or the ocean cruises. You think Viking knows what they're doing? I, I think they know what they're doing. I really do. I read you, man. Alert, man. Alert, nurse, nice. He's laughing out loud. And Jordan, I have just bought glass recyclable water drinking bottles. As far as I know, you can bring that on board. I would think you could bring on a glass bottle. I would think so. Reggie and man, laugh out loud, Robert Brandt. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, the other thing about water is you take your sport mug right here. Right here, I'll point out. There it is right there. Take that sport mug right there. Or right there. Right there. That one right there. That one. Um, take that into the buffet. And uh, and uh, go to the water station. It's a serve yourself, help yourself. Uh, and you know what you can do? Uh, slip a one dollar tip to your uh, your table guy at the buffet. Hand him this and tell him, would you mind filling this up for ice with ice and then fill up with cold water for me? They'll do it. They'll do it. Don't worry about it. The one dollar tip goes a long way. They'll ask you every time, would you like me to fill this up for you with ice water? Oh, yeah, you'll be there. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> Reggie and man, laugh out loud, Robert Brandt. Tom Henry, um, cruising rich guys, no laundry on NCL. You will have to get Adrian to make them for you. Grinning all the way here. You tell Adrian, Adrian, can we have a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches, please? And would you mind making them with the iron for us? <laughs> He's there to make you happy. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Laugh out loud, Tom Paul is saying, Cam, wait, they accept cash tips. Oh, wait, they do. Oh, man. Oh, we got something going here. Yes, they do, folks. They accept cash tips. How about all that action? Oh, man, too much fun. How are we doing for thumbs up today? 27 thumbs ups. Not so bad. Thank you, everybody, for 27 thumbs ups today. If you can spare a thumbs up before you finish your watching my show today, I'd appreciate it. Tomorrow, I'm on at 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Tomorrow night, Thursday, I'm on for two. Now, I may not, I might not be on Friday. And I might not be on Saturday because I've got my cousin coming in from Germany with his wife. They were in Jasper. They were in Banff, Alberta. Now they're driving down to here. They're going to get here tomorrow night. And we're going to be entertaining them, I think, uh, over the next few days. Uh, so there might be a chance. I may not be on. I'll know more tomorrow, and I'll keep you guys posted. Just a little heads up on my schedule as to what's going on. Um <laughs> Hey, Adrian, we need a grilled cheese sandwich. Um, <laughs> crazy rich guys. We don't get laundry service on the bliss. Oh, I'm sure you would get laundry service through the suite. I'm sure you could do that. Uh, Peter Heckema, I'm surprised that cruise lines allow glass bottles as they are banned around pools on board ships. Well, they allow wine. Uh, I would imagine they'd allow a glass water bottle, but again, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, Robert Brandt, yes, you get laundry all day, but you don't get in the laundry. Okay, uh, time, uh, Cam, time for some bribery on my next cruise. Laugh out loud. I'm going to be getting my meals first. That's right. A couple of $1 bills makes things happen, man. You'll feel like you're in the uh, you're in the Haven Club when you're down in the buffet at the main dining room. You slip your waiter a couple of $1 bills, and man, do you get your steak fast. Fast, I tell you. Uh, I just got here, and here's my steak. How about that? 
It is awesome. Paul Wilgus, crazy rich guy, travels. There is laundry service, just not a laundromat to do it yourself. Reggie, <laughs> Reggie and her man, uh, traveling with Bruce. Where from Germany? Where from Germany? Where are they from? Oh, they're from uh, Dortmund. Dortmund, Germany, fifth largest city in Germany. Coming in, they're 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 visiting from Dortmund. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, crazy rich guys. Yes, uh, for the service. No self serves though. You bag everything and give it to the. They take it to the bowels of the ship and they do it for you down there for you. They're not bringing you back a cheese sandwich from the bowels of the ship though. Uh, Suzanne Hoffman, take time. Uh, take the time off. Enjoy your family, Bruce. Uh, Suzanne, you're too kind. Thank you very much. Debbie Manuel, oh, okay. I guess you need to. Oh, I, you need your own time, Bruce. We'll miss you. I hope you enjoy your visit. Uh, well, you know, I'll do what I can. Like I guess I don't want to be off the air too long because uh, I love doing what I do. But um, uh, any breaking news, uh, of course, I'll be on it all the time, and uh, I can always pop up a quick video if I have to. If I have to go live on the spot uh, for something big, I'll just do it. I'll just go live. You guys will probably catch me anyway. Uh, Mary Ellen Shaw will be on Oasis of the Sea Saturday. Supposed to have a good Wi-Fi. Maybe I could put pics on Facebook. Mary Ellen, that would be fantastic. I would love that if you could do that for our, uh, uh, our uh, Facebook group page, Traveling with Bruce. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, let's hope that uh, the internet works for you over there. And Jordan Peter, as long as you don't take the glass water bottles around the pool, are you okay? I went to a travel show a while back, showed RCCL a pic of it, and they said it was fine. They said it was fine. Reggie and your man, don't worry, Bruce. We won't forget you. Thank you, Reggie and your man. Tom Henry, have fun in art, uh, Alan. <laughs> have fun in art. Uh, but anyway, I'm on tomorrow twice. Don't worry about that. Uh, but Friday and Saturday, I might be off. Uh, and I'll look after these guys. I'll uh, see what we uh, see what we're doing here. Um, Tom Henry rats. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh my goodness. Okay, there you go. How many thumbs ups have I got now? Did we get any more? Uh, Thirty-two. Fantastic. Thirty-two thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody who's watching. Um, if you can hit that thumbs up button for me, that would be terrific. It adds momentum to the channel. It uh, shows the uh, YouTube computers this channel, this show is enjoyed by its viewers. And they should recommend new people to the channel. And that would be terrific. I love it. Thank you very much. All right. I think I'm going to wrap this up. Um, any other questions? Fire away right now because I'm getting ready to pack her in for the day. Um, D. Walker, uh, number 33. Thumbs up, number 33. Thank you, uh, Dixie, for that. And Jordan is throwing thumbs ups all over the place. Um, Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow, Thursday, the 30th of August, second last day of the month. Two shows, five and eight. We'll do some trivia tomorrow night. Uh, good show, Bruce Peter Singh. Have a good evening. Bye for now. Robert Brandt, bye, guys. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today, and thank you for all of your comments. And uh, <laughs> Reggie and Aran, put a bow in it. It's done. Put a bow in it. Uh, make the final. Uh, yes, it was a good day today. Um, have a good evening, everyone. I will catch you tomorrow at five in the, uh, in the evening, Eastern time. And uh, Auf Wiedersehen, uh, Bruce is saying in German for Wendy Thompson. Uh, have a pleasant evening. Guten Abend, alle, all of you. Uh, Nurse Nancy, bless, uh, God bless all. Might not be here for a few days. Gotta work those 12 hour shifts. Uh, Reggie, uh, bye, uh, guten Tag. Uh, Tom Henry, bye everyone. Debbie Emanuel, goodbye everybody. And Jordan, great show, Bruce, as always. Enjoy your time with the family. And we'll see you for all the, see you for trivia and all the shows. You betcha tomorrow I'll be on. Uh, 37 thumbs ups now. Holy moly, you guys are throwing them out there. Love it. Thank you very much. All right. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thank you for joining me today on August the 29th, 2018. Really enjoyed having you here. Love doing the shows. I can't wait till tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We'll see you on then. See you all then. Have a pleasant evening in the meantime. Take care, everybody. See you for now.